Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Okay. So in this video, we're going to learn how to cha change invoice numbers. So say I'm getting ready to prepare an invoice and I'm going to click on preview, getting ready to send this to a client. Okay. So invoice one zero two two, say I don't want that. Say that that could even get me in trouble. They're looking for a, uh, my client's looking for an invoice with a different number than that. How do we change that? Well, let's go back. Let's go back to our settings. I'm going to click out all this stuff. Click on this little gearbox up here on the top right of your screen left hand side company settings let's click on sales over here on the left hand side sales form content custom transaction numbers it's clicked off let's go ahead and turn that on just like that let's go ahead and save it all right now let's get rid of this stuff you can close that out let's go back to our person that we were going to go ahead and create an invoice for no sorry Receive payment? No, we're gonna create an invoice. And now check it out here on your left hand, on your right hand side, I'm sorry, you can create the invoice number. So change it to anything you want, click save. Following has occurred, you must fill out, oh, I gotta, you gotta add something to it. So we'll just add 12 piece tool set. We'll save and send, change this to any number you want, 57. Let's go ahead and send that. Invoice saved, all right, here's the, Final disclaimer, invoice 57, save, send, and close. And that's it. Email sent to that person. All right, guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense and you know how to change your invoice numbers. Village Park Source invoice too. Oh, because I just sent it to myself. All right, guys, see you guys in the next video.